We hope that you enjoyed Flower Frenzy and that you're taking good care of your moonflower seeds. Since you brought them home, they should look something like this. Hopefully you're keeping the soil nice and dark brown, not, not, uh, not light brown like that up there because that means it's getting dried out, and keeping that little plastic dish underneath it so the water can drain out. In about a week, it should look like this, depending on how many seeds you put inside and how many sprouted. So in this pot, we actually have three different sprouts. And um, as you can see on this, this last one that sprouted, um, the seed leaves have come out. And uh, this right here is the seed coat. So that's actually the little seed that we had and there was food inside of it, which was stored to help the plant grow. Now, since we have three here right now, we don't want to keep them growing in this peat pod and we don't want them growing that close together. So um, what we will do is actually keep the biggest, strongest plant growing, which would be this one, the one that sprouted first. So what you're going to do is, is ask your, your parent or guardian, some adult, to give you scissors or help you with this part um, to trim off the ones that are not growing as strong. Now this one was the one that sprouted first and as you can see, it's already starting to begin another little leaf right there. Um, so this one I'm going to trim off, snip right there, and I'm also going to trim this one off. So now I have this moonflower growing and it gets all the soil in there and uh, soon it'll be ready to plant either indoors with some soil or outdoors in the ground, but wait until the last frost, which will be around April 14th.